This is going to be the most epic video ever produced on YouTube of a gold and silver unboxing. Well, let me tell you a little backstory here. About a year ago, I started up watching YouTube videos. I watched every gold and silver video I could possibly have ever imagined was out there. I listened to just about everybody's opinion. There were people saying, you've got to get into gold and silver now because gold is going to go up to $10,000 an ounce and silver is going to follow right behind it, reaching $500 to $1,000 an ounce. Well, being the kind of person I am, I decided I was going to do a little bit more studying on this. So I started watching more and more videos. The more I watched videos, the more confused I got. I didn't understand. Should I buy silver? Should I buy gold? Some were saying you got to be into gold. Others were saying you've got to be into silver. Silver is where it's at. Then I started watching videos that started talking about this ratio between gold and silver. When you're supposed to buy one, when you're supposed to buy the other, when you're supposed to sell. Boy, it all got very confusing very quickly. But I kept on watching. I was convinced I was going to do something about this because I heard people keep on saying that your currency, your fiat currency, was soon to become worthless. What this once bought was soon going to take this to buy. And before you know it, even this wouldn't be able to buy what this once did. So I figured I better start paying attention a little bit closer here because I surely needed to protect what little bit I had. I surely did not need that little bit of currency that I worked so hard for over the years to just disappear like that. So I better get into some gold and silver. Well, I kept on watching videos and I kept on seeing all these different opinions about how you should buy. Should I be buying bullion bars? Should I be buying coins? Should I be buying rounds? Should I be buying collectible things or things that are very low premium? It seems like as many different people out there that published these videos had that many different opinions. So I figured I better start doing a little bit more studying on this and I started going to different websites. I started looking at all the different sellers out there and what they were selling and what they were charging. Well, I did notice the premiums got very, very high over last year and I could actually see them climbing as I was studying this particular thing. But I decided I better get myself moving because you know that FOMO thing they talk about, that fear of missing out. And I was starting to fear I was going to miss out on this big move here that was about to come and how the dollar was about to be destroyed. There was going to be nothing left to it. There was no way that I was going to be able to use the little bit of stash that I had to be able to buy anything with unless I got into gold and silver to protect myself. So, as I say, I started looking at websites, noticing that these premiums were very high. So, I went to one of those very famous online auctions and decided to start looking on there. I figured maybe I had a little bit better buy, chance of a buy, if I got into an auction setting instead of just a straight out buy it from somebody. Well, as I was searching, I came across this one listing for something that just intrigued me. I was going to be able to buy my gold and silver all at one time. And the amazing thing was, this was an auction that also had a buy it now. So I had the option to be able to go both ways with this. I could either throw in that bid and hope that I was going to win this, or I could just go for their buy it now price. But I also noticed that there was absolutely no bids on this stuff. It was showing what looked like a silver Valcombi bar and a St. Gordon's gold coin. I mean, how come there were no bids on this? 
I mean, it had an opening bid of $100. I mean, that's absurd. So I decided to look and see what the shipping was. Well, they were also charging $100 to ship this. So then all of a sudden I started realizing, okay, well, maybe that's the reason why nobody's bidding on this because I've heard that sometimes those high shipping costs really turn people off. So I thought maybe this is an opportunity for me. Maybe I am going to be able to steal this. So I decided I better do one more piece of information there. Check one more piece there that I've heard people tell me you need to do when you buy on these online auctions. I went and looked at their rating. Well, to my surprise, well, I guess it shouldn't have been a surprise, I noticed that they had an awful lot of strikes against them and they had a pretty low rating. So I started thinking, well, <clears throat> It is a gold coin and it is a silver bar. Maybe it's just that combination of that low rating that they've had. And when I went in and read them, it just meant the people were giving them a bad ratings because they were slow on shipping their things out. So I figured, okay, well, I've got time. I think I will take a chance on this. So I did and I ordered it. And it just so happens that I won it at that initial $100 bid with a $100 shipping cost. I thought I stole this. Well, this was several months ago that I ordered this. I was starting to get a little bit nervous. The package was not showing up. I had contacted the seller a number of times, but they were not getting back to me. I started realizing why these people were getting such bad ratings. They really were slow and they had really poor customer service. But lo and behold, yesterday my package came in. So I am very excited here, folks, today to share with you this incredible buy that I got. Let's open this package up and see what we've got here. Let's see, I got several different knives here. Um, I got a razor blade because they really package this sucker up. Let's, let's try this to start off with and see if we can get inside this box. Let's see if there's any way for us to get inside this box without hurting myself. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get this side over here. I feel a lot better about this now. I have made my first purchase into the world of gold and silver. And that's the other thing. Am I now a stacker or am I an investor? I heard stories both ways with that too. I mean, sure, if you buy enough of this stuff, the stack, the pile gets pretty high and I guess you could call it stacking. Or you can look at it from the other side and say, I'm investing in my future. Well, whatever it is that I'm doing here, folks, I am now, whoops, I better be careful here. I see a note in here. Better make sure my name or anything isn't on there. Hold on. Let me see what's here before I go and show this to you. Okay, let's put this box on the side here. Oh, how nice of them. It says, a free gift on us to help you enjoy your purchase. Thank you from all of us at Big Little Coins and Bullion. Hey, that's pretty nice. It's pretty heavy. I wonder what it is. Well, let's go in there and take a look and see. Let's see. Oh, what did they? Oh, huh. That's pretty weird. They gave me a beat up magnifying glass. What the heck? Well, it was for free. So let's go take a look at the coins here and see what we've got. Let's see. Ooh, they really packaged these good. They must really have thought these things were valuable. I better take my time here and see what we've got. Let's get this camera readjusted here. Okay, folks, let's see. Well, there's two different ones here. Let's go with this one here first. Okay, let's see if we can, oh yeah. Okay, at least they made it so I can get the things out of there. I've seen some sellers on here, they have a real hard time getting these packages open. At least this company here made it easy for me. Okay, well, again, they must think this is pretty special. I'm surprised they went through all this because they had to have lost money on this deal. Okay, this 
Okay, this is the Valcambi 999 Silver. Let's see what we've got in here. It doesn't feel very heavy. Well, what the heck? Look at the size of this thing. It looked monstrous in the listing. This can't be true. Well, I do see the one there, and I guess I was in a rush with that FOMO there. I saw it said Valcambi 1, and I just assumed it was a one-ounce bar. The description on the listing was pretty basic. Pretty basic. There wasn't a lot of information there for me to go on. Well, let's see if we make up for it here on this Gold St. Gaudens here. Now, this would be the steal of a lifetime here. $100 for that listing, $100 for shipping. So I'm into this for $200. Bucks. And so far, I've got myself a free magnifying glass and a looks like it's one gram of silver. Now, let's take a look at this coin. It says St. Gordon's Gold. Oh, I'm really excited here, folks. This is going to be it. My foray into the world of gold and silver stacking. I might be a newbie, but this is incredible. <gasps> what the heck? Again, they look so big in the pictures. This thing's just a miniature. Oh my God. I think I've been taken. Well, let me go back and look at the listing again. Well, you know, I think I just remember looking at those listings and it said that there was no returns. Oh, well, at least I no longer have this terrible fiat currency that's going to pot. No more value to this stuff, but at least I now have some gold and silver that I can start building my stack with. <laughs> okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little comic thing that I did today. It was fun doing. It was fun using these things that I had kicking around. In any case, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this is GD saying, have a great day, folks, and be careful out there. If you're going to buy online from these places, make sure you really read what's going on. And when you see sellers that have had very low ratings, stay away. There's a reason why they get those low ratings. And as far as watching videos out there, yes, watch them all. But think for yourself, because each of us has different re reasons for, the, for why we buy gold and silver. Your reason may be very different than everybody else's, but no matter what you do, you do need to start putting some away. Because again, in all honesty, this is what can happen. This dollar bill that once bought goods and services now will take this $100 bill to buy those same goods and services. All you have to do is look at the gas pump these days, folks, or maybe the grocery store. We live in a new era that was designed by our current politicians to make us all dependent upon them. But there's no reason why you can't be dependent upon yourself. Okay, and until next time, I hope you're all having a great day out there, and I hope I gave you a little bit of a laugh. See you next time. This is GD saying goodbye.